OpenAI has just revealed its latest powerhouse, the ChatGPT, O1 Pro. With features like real-time conversations, audio and video comprehension, and unparalleled reasoning capabilities, the O1 Pro redefines what AI can do. But at $200 a month, it is also one of OpenAI's most premium offerings yet. So, what makes ChatGPT O1 Pro so revolutionary? And how does it stack up against the earlier O1 preview? You know, we'll try to make this fun and fast and not take too long, but it'll be a way to show you what we've been working on and a little holiday present from us. So we'll jump right into this first day. Uh, today, we actually have two things to launch. The first one is the full version of O1, the jump from GPT-40 to O1 preview across Mac, competition coding, GPQA, Diamond. Um, and you can see that O1 is a pretty big step forward. A lot of people, uh, power users of ChatGPT at this point, they really use it a lot and they want more compute than $20 a month can buy. So we're launching a new tier, ChatGPT Pro. And Pro has unlimited access to our models uh, and also things like advanced voice mode. It also has a, uh, a new thing called O1 Pro mode. So O1 is the smartest model in the world now, except for O1 being used in Pro mode. What makes ChatGPT O1 Pro unique? The O1 Pro can process both audio and video inputs in real time. For example, a student recently shared their iPad screen with the AI, which not only spoke to them, but also provided personalized learning guidance in real time. Now, looking at the triangle, which side do you think is the hypotenuse? Um, really, Remember I'm, the hypotenuse? I'm not totally sure. I think. I think it might be this one, but I really am not sure. This side AC. You're close. Actually, side AC is called the adjacent side to the angle alpha. The hypotenuse is the longest side of a right triangle and is directly opposite the right angle. But O1 Pro is not just about interacting. It is about reasoning. This model has been specifically designed to handle complex problems, whether it is analyzing intricate data sets or decoding redacted government documents. So uh, we have a sun right here uh, taking in power on this solar panel. <clears throat> and then uh, there's a small data center here. That's exactly what they look like. Yeah, <laughs> yep. GPU Rex. Oh. And then pump, nice pump here. And one interesting thing about um, operation in space is that on Earth, we can do air cooling, water cooling to cool down the GPUs, but in space, there's nothing there, so we have to radiate this um, heat into the deep space. And that's why we need this uh, giant radiator cooling panel. And this problem is about finding the lower bound estimate of the cooling panel area required to operate um, this one gigawatt uh, uh, data center. Probably going to be very big. Yeah. Let's see how big it is. Let's see. So that's the problem. I'm going to this prompt. And uh, yeah, this is essentially asking for that. So let me uh, hit go, and the model will think for seconds. By the way, most people don't know. I've been working with Hanwon for a long time. Hanwon actually has a PhD in thermodynamics, which is totally unrelated to AI. And you always joke that you haven't been able to use your PhD work in your job until today. So you can, you can trust Hyung Won on this analysis. Finally, finally. Uh, <laughs> thanks for hyping up. Now I really have to get this right. Uh, OK, so the model finished thinking. Only 10 seconds. It's a simple problem. So let's see if, uh, how the model did it. So power input. Um, so first of all, this one gigawatt, that was only drawn in the paper. So the model was able to pick that up nicely. And then um, radiative heat transfer only. That's the thing I mentioned. So in space, nothing else. And then some simplifying um, uh, choices. And one critical thing is that I intentionally made this problem underspecified, meaning that um, the critical parameter is a temperature of the cooling panel. Uh, I left it out so that uh, we can test out the model's ability to handle um, ambiguity and so on. So the model was able to recognize that this is actually a uh, unspecified but important parameter. And it actually picked the right um, range of uh, temperature, which is about the room temperature. And with that, it continues to the analysis and does a whole bunch of things. And then found out the area, which is 2.42 million square meters. Just to get a sense of how big this is, 
This is about 2% of the uh, land area of San Francisco. This is huge. In one viral case, ChatGPT 4V multimodal was used to interpret a NASA UFO sighting report, proving just how advanced this technology has become. The price of progress. Now, with all its advanced features, the O1 Pro doesn't come cheap. OpenAI has set the price at $200 a month, clearly targeting professionals and businesses that rely on AI for intensive use cases. One headline summarizes it well. OpenAI is charging $200 a month for an exclusive version of its O1 reasoning model. This price tag reflects the immense computational power behind the O1 Pro. It is a tool for solving problems that would be unmanageable for traditional systems. Whether it is designing software, conducting scientific research, or producing high-quality creative content, the O1 Pro is designed for users who need peak performance. But the high cost has also sparked debate. Is this AI truly revolutionary or just an overpriced upgrade? OpenAI seems confident that its features speak for themselves. So, what's so special? O1 Pro versus O1 Preview. What's the difference? The O1 Preview introduced many of the multimodal capabilities we see today, but the O1 Pro takes things to a new level. Users have reported smoother interactions, faster response times, and significantly improved reasoning skills. In one test, O1 Pro completed a programming task three times faster than the O1 Preview. Its ability to interpret visual data has also been enhanced, making it an invaluable tool for fields like architecture and design. We also really think that O1 will be much better for everyday use cases, not necessarily just really hard math and programming problems. In particular, one piece of feedback we received about O1 Preview constantly was that it was way too slow. It would think for 10 seconds if you said hi to it, and we fixed that. That was really annoying. It, it was kind of funny, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> it, it really thought, it cared. Really thought hard about saying it, hi it back cared. to it. Yeah. Um, and so we fixed that. O1 will now think much more intelligently. If you ask it a simple question, it'll respond really quickly. And if you ask it a really hard question, it'll think for a really long time. Uh, we ran a pretty detailed suite of human evaluations for this model. And what we found was that it made major mistakes about 34% less often than O1 Preview, while thinking fully about 50% faster. And we think this will be a really, really noticeable difference for all of you. OpenAI has positioned O1 Pro as a premium solution to meet the needs of users who value precision, efficiency, and advanced capabilities. After all, as the saying goes, time is money, and investing in faster, more accurate tools often pays off. Redefining Real-Time Conversations One of the most impressive features of the O1 Pro is its ability to understand and respond in real time. OpenAI has combined audio, video, and text capabilities into a single, seamless system. This is not just about chatting, it's about creating a human-like interaction. For example, the O1 Pro can detect emotions in your voice and adjust its tone accordingly. Whether you're frustrated with a tough math problem or excited about a new project, the AI adapts to your emotional state, making interactions feel natural and intuitive. Elon Musk has called AI the single biggest item in the near term that's likely to affect humanity. With tools like ChatGPT O1 Pro, it is easy to see why. AI is probably the single biggest item in the near term that's likely to affect uh, humanity. So it's very important that we have the advent of AI uh, in a good way that that uh, is something that um, if you if you could look into the crystal ball and, and see the future you would like you would like that outcome um, because it is something that could go um, could go wrong um, 
as we've talked about many times. Um, and so we really need to make sure it goes right. Applications that push boundaries. The possibilities with ChatGPT O1 Pro are practically limitless. AI tutors could revolutionize learning by providing real-time, personalized guidance in education. In healthcare, the model could analyze patient data and recommend treatments faster than any doctor. Jason Way explains, machines are not far from closing the gap. The O1 Pro is already closing that gap, with capabilities that blur the lines between human and machine intelligence. This AI is not just about solving problems, it is about creating previously unimaginable solutions. From analyzing UFO sightings to producing high-quality creative content, the O1 Pro proves its worth across industries. Uh, I want you to tell them a bedtime story about robots and love. Oh, a bedtime story about robots and love? I've got you covered. <laughs> Gather round, Barrett. Once upon a time, in a world not too different from ours, there was a robot named Bite. Bite was a curious robot. What's next? OpenAI continues to push the boundaries, launching new models one by one. Their next big project is rumored to be an AI video tool, promising to redefine how we create and interact with videos. If you're curious about this revolutionary development, check out the video on your screen to learn more.